Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So this is week 5 assignment of introduction to machine learning course. So friends, uh, in this video, let's see the solutions, probable solutions for the assignment. So before that, please watch the video till then because if there are any modifications or if there is any explanation in between, so you may not miss that if you watch till the end. So do watch full video. So let's see the first question. Guys, first of all, uh, I will give the solutions for what I have got and later I will give you the probable solutions for remaining questions. So uh, for first question, you are giving the n samples of input x and y. So pro appropriate, most appropriate model for y is equal to f of x. So for first question, what I have got is option 3 y is equals x power w such that uh, w greater than 0 so mark third option friends everything is my probable solution only use it as reference purpose so if there is any update i will give you in the comment section so before the final submission deadline once again visit the comment section so if there are any updates i will mention it in the comment section only and if you guys know any exact solution and you want to suggest me any change regarding my solution you can please do that so that others also can be able to note that changes so first question option 3 and next I will directly go to the sixth question so sixth question which of the following statements are true so for sixth question I have got two answers for this the first one is option 1 the chances of overfitting decreases with increasing the number of hidden nodes and increasing the number of hidden layers and the other option is third one two hidden layer neur neural networks can represent any continuous function as long as the number of hidden units is sufficient and appropriate activation functions used so for sixth question uh, I have got two solutions the first option and last option and next let's see the seventh question so this is the seventh question we have a function uh, which takes 2d input and two parameters such that this is the function we use pro back propagation to estimate the right parameters so let's set the uh, both parameters initially as one and x21 x10 y equal 5 so they are asking do by do w2 of f i mean differentiation of f with respect partial differentiation of f with respect to w2 so first for the seventh question i have got the solution as 0 0.125 that is third option so mark option 3 as correct answer for seventh question and next moving on to the eighth question so here if the learning rate is 0 0.5 what will be the value of w2 after one update using back, back propagation algorithm so for eighth question i have got the solution as 0 0.5625 that is last last but third option 0.5625 is the answer for 8th question and moving on to the ninth one I will zoom this for you so ninth question which of the following are true when comparing ANNs and SVMs so for ninth question I have got three options actually here the first one is ANN error surface has multiple local minima while SVM error surface has only one minima. This is the first option and the next one is second one. After training, ANN, ANN might land on different minimum each time when initialized with random weights during each run. This is the second one and the last option is fourth one. In training, ANN's error surface is navigated using a gradient descent technique while SVM's error surface is navigated using convex optimization solvers. 
so these three options i have got for ninth question so now i will share you the probable solutions for the remaining one so guys for second question i am not sure about this uh, if i get the answer i will uh, inform you in the comment section so i am not giving the solution as of now for second question and let's go to third one so here uh, they have given it is in following following a normal distribution and there are five mark uh, five samples and each sample they have given so they are uh, they are asking to find maximum likelihood estimate so for this i think the probable solution is third option 50 guys if anyone know the correct answer for these quiz uh, these complete solutions you can please uh, give the give in the comment section so i'll try to discuss with you and give you the best solution for the viewers and moving on to the fourth question here in the fourth question they are asking which of the following logic fun logical functions does it compute Uh, this is the threshold function so for fourth question uh, the probable answer is second option and moving on to the next question <coughs> that is fifth one using the notations used in the class evaluate the value of neural networks with a 331 architecture so the parameters are as follows they have given alpha and beta matrices so for fifth question the probable solution is 0.6948 that is third option guys if there are any changes and if i get the updated solution i will mention in the comment section and any of you guys know the exact solution for these solutions i mean for these questions uh, please inform me in the comment section and next next we shall move on to the final question that is only left left over question 10th one which of the following are correct so for this i have got i mean two probable answers i will give the first one is the first option only and a perceptron will learn the underlying linear separable boundary with finite number of training steps this is the first one and the other one i have got is third option back propagation algorithm used while estimating parameters of neural networks actually uses gradient descent algorithm i think these two are the solutions for 10th question so friends these are the answers for probable answers for week 5 assignment hope this video is helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends if you know the i mean if you want to suggest me the any changes you can please do that in the comment section so for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel until the next video it's goodbye thank you